Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is making a name for himself as an actor on the big and small screen with roles in 1966, ATL Homicide, and NCIS New Orleans. Please welcome Marvin LaViolette. Yeah! yeah. yeah. She said it. <laughs> she said, yes, she said it. She said it. Thank yes. You. Thank How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for Good. having me. Today, Thanks ladies. for being here today. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That is an interesting last name you have, Marvin. Yes. What is the origin of it? The origin of it, I am Haitian, French, and yes. Creole. So a little bit of little Dominican in me, a little mm -hmm. you know, Haitian, like little, all of us. All, all like you know, yes. unified. So yes. Yes. brown people. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And right? you also mm -hmm. come from a big family. You have seven siblings. Yes, I have seven. What was it like growing up in the house? Did you did you share clothes sometimes? Um, <laughs> it, it was pretty crazy being literally the middle child. Wow, and, oh, you're uh, right finding in the out, Like finding out like where I was because I grew up at first with my two closest brothers. Uh, Max and Tony uh -huh. and I was the middle child out of both of them mm -hmm. then later on finding out that like through on my dad's side I had other siblings wow. so I'm like oh Whoa, wow mm -hmm. okay I'm me meeting this over here and then from there I'm like okay maybe I'm not the middle child you know I'm not the young that's like not young enough and I'm not <laughs> old enough. Yeah, so I'm right. in the middle so right. I'm just like What's up, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> any any other uh, your other siblings do they act as well? Um, I would say the one that's closest to the arts then I'd say nothing really acting. Mm -hmm. So I'd say closer to her would probably be my baby sister. She followed up like eventually before I got into acting. I was a dancer for yeah. for ten years. Oh wow! So uh, yeah, my sister she was pursuing that. And then from what there, company? Um, oh, where I was dancing. Yeah. I was, I went to Pinellas County Center for the Arts and I went to U Arts oh, in Philadelphia. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. So. Philly love, Philly love. Mm. The dance, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, absolutely. With, with, with dancing being your background, how did you say, "Hey, I think acting's my gig"? So how did how did you figure that out? How did I figure that out? I, I would say it's a little bit of just overall passion in the arts and circumstance, because mm -hmm. I did start off in dance, and from there I would do a little acting stuff with whatever school, with the school I was with, mm -hmm. and, the, and then from there, long story short, it ended up coming to an injury. Oh, oh wow! So what from was the injury? There, uh, I had <laughs> I had ripped the arch in my foot, oh. so, yeah, one of the ligaments in my foot. So with pointing and everything through there, and going through sports and so many physical activities, I'm just like injury prone. It's like pow, pow, pow. Right. So, wow. Oh yeah. my God. Today. Ouch. Well, speaking of injuries, <laughs> uh, the industry can be a one gigantic injury, injury right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, consistently, over and over again. Uh, it's, especially when it comes to you know auditioning and being rejected and having to you know find the faith to keep going. Yeah. Talk to us about what was your moment where it was, uh, well, I guess you could call it your big break. And mm -hmm. what are some of the struggles that you face being an actor right now, African-American actor, especially in this, this climate? All right. So some of the stuff that I faced, I could say I didn't really receive a big break. It was just more of a divine opportunity, mm -hmm. I like yes. to call it. That's what I like. So it, it would just come off as coming in from coming up from as a dancer, it's really still very trained. Too, you know? <laughs> like out here. You know? <laughs> like he's about to be right now. Very graceful. Oh, pure <laughs> Ray. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay us any attention. Just do your thing. <laughs> it's good. You know, yeah. you know, no, Sorry. No, no, we're just, we're just <laughs> observe it. But uh, basically just coming through that um, at the same time, <laughs> basically, it's just going on through a structure the way I was just raised. Mm -hmm. um, having a structured foundation. This is what I'm doing now, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna move on to this phase. So it was always like, all right, uh, I wanna do this, but what do I need to do? Yeah. All right, I'm taking classes, um, there's this opportunity, but no, I'm gonna wait. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that work ethic, come into being not only just a black man in America, mm -hmm. but a black man from another country. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're cultured, mm -hmm. like I would basically feel like, my dad taught me not to just be a black man in America, but be a black man that's not American. Mm, so got it, got on it. top of that, it's like you come in early, you put in the work, you leave late. Yes. Mm. Keep on putting in the work. You put in the work till it goes, till it works out. Yes. At the same time, some people are doing work to get attention. Hey, look at me on this. Oh, I'm doing that. It's just putting in the work over and over mm -hmm. and over. Yeah, yeah. You continue to put in the work. Uh, part yeah. of the TV One family and oh, ATL yeah. Homicide. Mm -hmm. yes. And we've had several cast members. We had the detectives on. They mm -hmm. are part of our crew. Yes. Uh, what's it like on that set? Uh, and, uh, <sighs> is it a lot of fun? Do you find yourself like trying to become the detective or? <laughs> Uh, about yeah, that playing experience. Howard Belcher on the other side of it, basically, mm -hmm. and playing with two of my good personal friends, Chris mm -hmm. and Angelo Diaz. Yes. So those are my buddies. So it was uh, amazing, the, the energy, and it was just more like playtime. You're playing with your friends, yes. doing something that you love. So it's just like, oh, you ready? Oh, you ready? You're throwing this in? Oh, all right. right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go in 
there, so Good. It was, it's uplifting. Awesome. Now, Marvin, you're an, you are an ex-vegan. I've never heard anyone say that before. Oh, okay. wow. Let's that is like, it. what happened? Like, see, why, why, when this. did the backsliding come yes. in? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you're still in good shape even even now. Oh, um, yeah. Does it play a role in your acting? Your, your um, fitness yes, because with fitness and health, oh, with food, okay. what you consume, that affects mm -hmm. how you are. Not mm -hmm. only with just your drive, your energy, mm -hmm. and how you portray stuff. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you eat healthy, you feel healthy, you feel good. I just came on to a time that I was just consuming so much, I never felt my fill being a vegan. Like, uh, let me try, you know, a burger. Then I ate a burger, then I was like, Bleh! and I mm -hmm. threw up after right, all that right, time. But right. slowly conditioning yourself, like in anything. It's like a balance. So you There's find no, that you you thrive better when you're eating meat as opposed to being a vegan? Um, I, it's a finding a balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know when I start my greens. Well, I mean, in the with morning. just having the balance together is better. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your new uh, faith-based film called Negative Exposure, and, and how does your spirituality play a part mm. in, in you doing that role? Um, th through that project and that role, how it affects me is I'm a man. Of, I'm a man of God. Mm -hmm. I'm a man of faith, mm -hmm. uh, and basically just pursuing my yeah. situations in that movie, who I play, it's definitely taking a different role and it makes me look on the inside of who I am now as yeah. a person portraying that, just getting that story out and how mm -hmm. it makes me feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, can't wait for you guys to see it. Good. Coming out. It's going to be future. great. It's going to be great. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Yes. Thank you for having Continue me. Continue success. Continue to do your dance <laughs> and do your <laughs> acting and all of it and let it all play yeah, out. I'm like Marvin's love you. Love it. All right. Give it up for him. Please follow him on Instagram at Marvin underscore love you. 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 Love you.